all my lovely YouTube subscribers. I hope you're doing well. Um, I recently hit a thousand subscribers and I was really excited about that. That was kind of a big milestone for me and my channel. Uh, so I really appreciate all the people that are subscribing and I hope you keep doing it because I like making videos and I hope that you keep watching them. Today I'm participating in a collab. I was recently added to a Facebook page called YouTube Mommy Meetup and it's a bunch of moms and I think some dads that share ideas, seek advice, um, and they all have YouTube channels. So one of the women on this page named Maggie Reed started this collab. It's a mommy makeup routine and for me it's my everyday makeup routine. Don't forget to check everyone else's channel out. I'll have them link in the description box. And if you happen to find my channel because you saw it on someone else's video, thank you so much for checking it out. Alright guys, without further ado, keep watching to see how I get this makeup look. I've already moisturized my face with the Olay Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30. I've already primed my face with the Ulta Matte uh, Face Primer. So after I do that, um, I will put on a little bit of uh, foundation. This foundation goes on really nice, uh, but it does go on a little bit wet. So I like to do this first so it has time to dry and settle into the skin. I forgot to say what foundation this was. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 uh, Foundation and Concealer in the color 02 Natural. So I put a little bit on my brush, and this is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush from Sam Chapman. And I just got mine at Kohl's, but I've had this for years and I've always liked it. So I kind of just dab on. And when it first goes on, I do more of like a dabbing motion over like a scrub or a rub on the skin and this is so it just kind of blends in nicely sometimes i'll go over my lids to give it a nice base if i'm going to use eyeshadow um and then i just kind of keep buffing it in make sure if i'm over here i kind of just blend it into my neck now i recently went on vacation so i'm a little bit tan and i think this is a little bit lighter than my well at least my forehead so I'm just kind of take whatever's left on my brush and even out the face a little bit so I go kind of out of order I guess what you would say when you think about makeup um, I don't continue on my face what I do next is I go on to my eyeliner and that way if I mess up and need to fix the wing I can wipe underneath without wiping all like my concealer away this also gives my foundation some time to set and become less tacky this is the wet n wild h2o proof in black and this is the only eyeliner I use because it does not budge. So this is my everyday look and I wear eyeliner every single day. So check this out. I have a slight tan line on my eyelids in the shape of winged eyeliner. How hilarious is that? So with my eyes, I have a monolid, which basically means that I have no visible crease. So what I have to do is I make my liquid line pretty thick. And that's so when my eyes are open, like look right here, you can't even see that. So I have to make mine pretty thick to make it visible. Okay, so once I have, I know this looks kind of ugh, crazy and a little bit dark, but so once I have this, the initial like curve of the eye, then I'll create the flick. And how I do that is I kind of, on the outside of the eye, follow the lower line up, and then I'll connect. And I'll do the same on the other side. And there you go, here you have my wing eyeliner. Um, it will look not as crazy once I put my lashes on. So what I'll do on my lower lash line is take just a dark brown eyeliner and not on my waterline but kind of on my lash line. And we all do that funny face. And then I use my CoverGirl Clump Crusher and black. So I'll coat my lashes slightly because it's easier for the falsies to go on. I have these itty bitty lashes that you literally can't see. So I'm going to use these Color Mates lashes in, I think these are in Dramatic. Uh, I got these from the Dollar Tree. I use these all the time. They're my favorite lashes. 
and they're a buck, so you can't beat that. So we'll just use some Salon Perfect Glue from Walmart. I like to wait um, 30 plus seconds to let the glue get tacky. Otherwise, they will slip all over the place and they'll be an absolute nightmare to put on. So, so I kind of just wave it around and blow on it a little bit. I'm going to place it on my eye and I can't really talk while I do it. So I will kind of run through it right now. Um, I usually use tweezers, but again, I forgot to grab them when I went to film this tutorial. Um, so I usually hold it with tweezers on the end and I place in the middle and then I use the tweezers to pull the sides down. Um, but I'm going to have to do that with my fingers, so I'm not going to be able to talk while I do it, so bear with me. Here we go, one lash on. Um, after they kind of set and after I finish the rest of my makeup, I will usually give it a little squeeze with an eyelash curler to bond the lashes together and get them closer to my lash line. Let me just get this other one on and I'll be right back. I'm just going to coat my lashes a tiny bit with some mascara to bond the lashes and add some to my lower lashes. So now that I have mascara on my bottom lashes, I am going to move on to my eyebrows. I don't have that many hairs, but I do have some, um, but it's very light. So I'm using this drawing eyebrow from Etude House. One of my friends went to Asia for her honeymoon, and she brought me back this. And the pencil's like this. It's at an angle. So what I do is I kind of shape my eyebrow, and then I fill it in and use the brush to scrub it a little bit. So there's my eyebrows done. Um, I hear this all the time. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So it's okay if they're not exactly the same. I'm actually going to give my eyelashes a squeeze now. I'm actually going to shade a little bit in my crease. I know I go completely out of order, but this is just how I do my makeup. <laughs> so I have the Wet n Wild All Natural and Nude Awakening palette. Um, I just got this. And what I'm going to do is just take this Coastal Scents brush number 15. It's kind of a flat brush. And I'm going to buff out my crease. And I'm going to use this matte color right here to begin with. And then I'll take a fluffy blending brush. Blend around the outer edge just to soften it a little bit. And then I'll take this matte cream color here and put it on the brow bone. So before I put any concealer under my eyes, I'm going to put the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer on. Now there's a little pump. And today for under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Rimmel Wake Me Up. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Concealer Brush to buff it all in. Then I'll take my e.l.f. contour with a little powder brush and use a little bit of this banana colored powder and set my under eyes. Then I'm going to take the same brush with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and Translucent. On the same contour palette, I'm going to take this dark color here. It's just a cool tone matte brown. Perfect for contouring. Now, you, I can see the hollows of my cheek a little bit. I haven't contoured yet. So I kind of just follow the natural curves of my cheek. And I'm using this e.l.f. angled brush. I'll go under my chin. And around my jawline. Okay, on to blush. I'm using the Mellow Wine Wet n Wild Color Icon. And I'm just using a Real Techniques blush brush. So this is just a matte blush, and I'm just going to load it onto my brush, tap it off a little bit, and get the apples of my cheeks. Now for my lips, I'm going to use the Moisturizing Lipstick by e.l.f. in Ravishing Rose. So this is it guys, this is my everyday makeup look. I typically do this on a regular basis. I don't always do eyeshadow, but the eyeliner and the lashes are a must for me. Um, it's just how I'm comfortable, it's what makes me feel good, and I say if it makes you feel good, go for it.
Thanks so much guys for watching this collab. I hope you enjoyed my makeup look. I hope that you got some inspiration to try some of the products out. Maybe if you've never done lashes before, you'll try them. Uh, or maybe if you don't usually do a winged eyeliner, you'll try that. Make sure you check out all the other lovely ladies that are participating in this collab. I'll have them linked below in the description box. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.